I am the mighty Shaho Yuan. I'll destroy anything or anybody that gets in our Lord's way on his quest to... I am the mighty Shaho Yuan. I'll destroy anything or anybody that gets in our Lord's way on his quest to bring an end to the chaos. Or something like that. Okay, I think the stream is working now. God, it took a while to fix. Yeah, so for a second there, it looked like the stream died on my end for like over like 30 seconds. And then apparently my mic stopped working. Or it wasn't working when I started. I wasn't, I'm not sure. Either way, it wasn't working, and so I had to suddenly fix that. So sorry about the rocky start. Just technical difficulties. Even though I changed nothing with my setup, Mike just decided to unregister itself. Yeah, sorry about playing Shaha Yuan's narration multiple times. I wasn't sure if you guys were seeing it or not. Shaho Yuan, you are one of my most prized warriors. If it were not for you, I would never have made it this far. I'm expecting great things from you. In order to force our way into the castle at Xia Pi, we must break through either the west or south gates. However, we cannot forget about the bases surrounding the castle. I now have Guo Jia leading the way and preparing a strategy for us. Everybody, I want you to follow Guo Jia's orders on the battlefield and carry out your missions. Now let's go! That's what I get for not playing as Lu Ming. Well, sorry! I saw more suggestions for Sun Cheng Cheng and someone paid me for Xiao Yuan, so... Actually a pretty good weapon for him. Uh, Dion Pei, let's go. Also, yeah, I guess both the Shahos start at Sha Pi. Which is odd, like, they're around for Yellow Turbans and Dong Zhuo. Lu 
Boo-Boo! Welcome to your final resting place. A defense base. Careful, it will put up a tough fight. Master Xiao Du, Luan. Head for the west. Master Liu Bei, lead your army to the south. I love how it sounds like Sha it sounded like Sao Tsao just cut himself off to do his tutorial for the defense base. Liu Bu and Yuan Shu together? Get the attack ready now. I guess let's try and do something different. This is one tough castle. It won't go down easily. Turn around, men. We're only wasting energy. Liu Bei just giving up. Break the floodgates. We'll flush them out. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch the floodgate. An attack base. Destroy it before it does any harm. I must retreat. Enemy officer defeated. Strengthen the floodgates. They must stay intact. Let you want you appear. I will if it won't take too long. If he doesn't show up until like 20 minutes into the stage, then forget it. Wow, I can't even progress. That's annoying. Go around the entire battlefield. Do you think you can stop me? I believe you won, uh, Xiao Yu Wan, Gan Ning, and Huang Zhong have similar move sets. I think Gan Ning has the most unique out of the three. I think the only thing they all share are like a couple of their uh, S string attacks. But I believe Xiao Yu Wan and Huang Zhong share a good portion of their moves. Which is part of why I really didn't want to play like Xiao Yuan and Huang Zhang side by side, because it basically feel like playing the same character twice. I like how, uh, at the beginning of the battle, Cao Cao taught, like, how he won and helped for so much, but here he is giving tutorials for him. His running speed is so slow. Uh, yeah, Steve Bloom is the voice actor for Xiao Yuan in 4 and 5. This will be the last time we hear this particular version of Xiao Yuan. Yashun is still reinforcing the floodgate.
Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think they improved Shahu One's uh, arrows from before. Like now he shoots multiple ones. When I believe in Dynasty Warriors Four, he just shot like one row of arrows. Didn't even realize you were in here, Yenli. I won't be denied next time. Enemy officer defeated. And I guess that's all it can really do, huh? It won't even let you enter the castle until you uh break the floodgate. So, with nothing left to do on the map, I will begrudgingly head towards the floodgate. All the mother comments about Xiao Yuan. <laughs> Love how that's his thing now. Oh yeah, and people were commenting on the thumbnail. Uh, to me, when I made it, it made me think of like a giant Xiao Yuan looking like he's going to eat soon, Chang Chang. But it's like art, you can interpret it however you want. I was hoping this might be a gate captain, but it's not. I guess I'll take down Gaoshu, and he keeps reinforcing the floodgate, but I don't think that does anything. The game just keeps giving you notifications for it. So a lot of good reinforcing the floodgate did. Now the castle is bound to fall. All units attack. Even Lord Lu Bu is done for. I'm out of here. It's weird how the bridge like unfurls. My loyalty is forever yours, Lord Captain. Really? Wait! This is the first time a woman has ever chased me! Oh, now I get it. You're that girl who's been running around with Lu Bu. I can't believe this! You expect me to fight with a girl? Diao Chan says nothing. Diao Chan is pursuing Xiao Yuan! <laughs> I cannot believe he has a cutscene with the Al Chan. And she's dead.
And then I guess if I had waited like a minute or two longer, then Yuan Shu would have finally showed up. Though if I get this stage again, I guess next time I'll try waiting even longer to see if I can get him to actually show up and beat him. And see what else Lubu does. See if he opens the gates voluntarily. Oh, he went into hyper mode. Or, uh, rage mode, I guess. Excellent work. That's enough. I'm too good for this fight. bringing shame to your honor. Even defeated generals have pride. You must be strong to the very end. Rest in peace, Lu Bu. It appears that my leadership and military might have surpassed even yours. Even so, it was a most difficult battle. With the death of Lu Bu, will the land finally know peace? No. The tides of time can be stopped by no man. No, there will surely be many more battles to come. <laughs> A new bo this body got Yeah, Lubu doesn't exactly have a graceful retreat at Chappy. The defeat of Lubu improved our lord's reputation throughout the central plains. Of course this was going to happen. Were you expecting something else? But that annoying Yuan Shao still remains in control of Hua Bei. Although he and Cao Cao were childhood friends. He apparently is jealous of our lord's success. He sent his armies to attack us. My lord, is it really okay for us to fight him? I feel bad fighting this guy simply because compared to you, he's so weak. Shao Yuan, Yuan Shao may seem foolish now, but he wasn't always like this. His arrogance has clouded his thinking and made him this way. That is why we must eliminate him. We shall advance our army to Guangdu to force a showdown with Yuan Shao. Even though the enemy army is large, Yuan Shao is an inept commander. They will be no match for us. Shao Yuan, I want you and Shao Dun to protect Yan Jin. Destroy all of Yuan Shao's men and lead us to ultimate victory. You see this cutscene so much. Quite impressive, Shaho Doom. It almost looked like you wanted to kill Guan Yu. Hmm. So, will we be leaving soon, Cao Cao? Yes. We will go to Guan Du and attack Yuan Shao. Guan Yu, this includes you as well. As you wish. I guess we'll stick with Deontay. He got to have health in the last battle. He could have died. And then I'd have had to have deleted him. I kind of forgot Shahu Yuan was even in this battle. 
Is he in this battle normally? Father, I didn't know you liked sightseeing. Are you sure it's safe for you to leave the main camp? I thought I would go and see Yuan Shao's face myself. Besides, Huan Yu is here. I need not worry. Hmm. Well then, I leave the main camp to you. Ha! One, you and I will reinforce Baima Castle, Shaho Dun, go to Yangshi, and Kao Pi to Guandu Castle. The battle just started, Liu Yan's already complaining. them away too far. I must retreat. Enemy officer defeated. Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. See if I can still go and use Thunder and take out uh, Yan Liang myself. I think he's up here. Yeah, here he is. He almost stole the kill. I won't lose a second time. The enemy officer defeated. Yang Liang, Kao Kao, I'll make you pay. The enemy is sure to open their stores at Wu Chao. Keep pressing them until they do. Who's advancing here? Oh, it's Sliu Bei. LP said that as if Shao Yuan wasn't already working for Wei. Enemy officer defeated. Enemy officer defeated. Lord Kao Kao, I reserve the right to withdraw. I have already fulfilled to you what duty I owe. And there goes Guan Yu. Second time. Enemy officer defeated. You should have brought your allies here. Kill Guan Yu. If only that was an option. The best I can do is have him retreat. I won't be denied next time. Enemy officer defeated. Uh, 
Now, if history repeats itself, the rest of the army is going to struggle and die. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Since I spent so much time fighting on the right side, which really isn't worth it. Dynasty Tactics 2 stream win. Probably never. Like, I do like playing the game, but it's a bit too much of a time sink and just... There's not enough that goes on. I just think it'd be really boring to scream. I won't be denied next time. Enemy officer defeated. There goes Soapy. This isn't looking good. I won't lose a second time. Enemy officer defeated. like that only means one thing quickly destroy them before they breach the castle gate the front needs nah. supplies. open up Wu Cho <laughs> Siege Towers plus Jinji means Wandu Castle is gone. Our base has fallen? Are you sure about this? But that's fine. I like we need it. Do we need it? Oh, we need it. Alright, I'll turn around. You must be looking for trouble. A worthy opponent. Enemy officer defeated. Let us turn this battle into a few of beauty. I'm surprised they don't have any interaction here. Uh, actually, I'll keep him alive. Stop. I want to see if they'll have any interaction when he defects. Come, hit me with everything you got. This is looking good. Such impressive skill. It certainly is noisy. What is happening? From the reaction, it sounds like that's the case. What's that? Cow cow, you pretentious fool! Wrong horse. I must retreat. For now. Enemy officer defeated! Master Yuan Shao's crudeness is maddening. 
Oh, no hard feelings about beating the shit out of you with this club. Anything to say? We must strive to be beautiful above all else. Well, okay then. I never expect that last hit to send them flying. Kinda ruins the Muso combo. the siege towers can only open Guandu Castle's gates. Pretty sure they can't take it, so I'm going to ignore them this time. Are you trying to make me angry? God, no. No, not at all. So I guess Shao Yuan is now adding Jinji and Zhang He to his harem. I'll stop by Zhang He one more time. Strike fear in their hearts. Did you think you could overcome this base? We must strive to be beautiful above all else. Nope, still nothing. I guess Shao Yuan doesn't have a cutscene here. Although they could really be hidden anywhere if he could have a cutscene with Diao Chan of all people for really no no reason. I know his cutscene could have been with like Sal P or something. And some battles you lose. Enemy officer defeated. And it's too late to see that now because, you know, he's dead. His future wife murdered the shit out of him. As she tends to do in this stage. Retreat is an acceptable strategy. Enemy officer defeated! <laughs> Retreat is an acceptable strategy. Enemy officer defeated! Stand down, you Creighton! Have you no shame? Although, from the sounds of it, there is a cutscene between uh, Shahi Yuan and Zheng He on this stage. It's just... You have to uh, be playing as Zheng He. Which is odd. You would think the cutscene would play for both of them. All units, charge the base. I think it's a bit too late for that, Cao Cao. 
<laughs> oh, you have to defeat Jing He to get the cutscene. I'm hearing a lot of conflicting reports. Concerned only with pride and ignored the opinions of his advisors. Whereas we believed in ability, valued good counsel. This battle was over before it started. There are still bigger threats to our power out there than Yuan Shao. We must prepare for the inevitable battles ahead and deal with them when they come. <laughs> A new bot this bot Well there's no way our lord will ever lose to this guy. Oh how the ability of a ruler makes all the difference. Our lord soon took over Jing, which is known for its granaries. He then decided to get rid of the meddling Liu Bei and Sun Quan, and we marched toward Chi Bi along the Changjiang. <laughs> the random trivia from Xiao Yuan. Jing, known for its granaries. Changjiang. That means we'll be using ships. I guess it won't really matter where we fight. Me and my bow will take out anybody that gets in my way. Let's get going. Xiao Yuan, your performance at Guan Du was magnificent. Now there is no one from the central plains to Huabei who can defy us. I am sending my forces to Chi Bi to engage and defeat Liu Bei and Sun Quan. Unlike the previous battle, it will be our fleet that emerges victorious. What do you mean previous battle? What? Yuan Shao was a fool who believed superior numbers created a superior army. I will not be as foolish as him. Xiao Yuan, go out there. And show me your valor. Okay, I get the comparison now. He's saying his army is bigger. Now he's gonna win this time. Even though we beat Shao Yuan with our, uh, damn it, we beat Yuan Shao when he had a bigger army. Okay, I'm noticing Sai Mao is my sub officer, so if I die. Nah. He gets a pass this time. Unless I can somehow lure him onto the bridge when it explodes. Ships have all been chained together. Good work, everyone. One guy wearing green. That went quite well, if I do say so myself. But this battle is far from over. Now, the difficult part begins. How's that? Now we can attack the enemy fleet. Mm. Path is clear now for our advance. Forward! Destroy that pathetic excuse for a navy! My lord, we spotted a strange boat loaded with straw. Straw. Fire it? Ridiculous! There's no wind! Well, that was easy. I'm home, everyone. Paintong and his immediate defection in this version of the stage. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. Enemy officer defeated! Ok, 
Okay, luckily Zhang Liao was safe this time. Last time that bridge went down, it took him out. The bridges went down like back to back this time. Let's see, last time I successfully stopped the fire attack, so this time let's not do that. Let's see if I can force uh, one guy spawn by defeating Joe Yu again. Plus, if I allow the fire attack to go through, there's a higher chance of Sai Mao dying. And I'm pretty sure everyone watching right now wants to see that happen. Jinji just comes at it with a chainsaw. No, her bare fist rips it apart, literally. Break through the enemy lines and <laughs> I love how he literally tells Jinji to tear it down. <laughs> I was gonna defeat your sub officer, but now you've annoyed me. One guy, I'm entrusting the fire attack to you. No problem. This will be the victory of a lifetime. Retreat is a strategy in itself. Until next time. Enemy officer defeated. Mike can still get a sub. One guy, prevent the fire attack. So I guess by default, Sal P just uh, directs this battle, huh? Imagine Sai Mao launching a boat attack on the main camp because you let him live. Yeah, that would be terrible. I would hate to have him attack my main camp. Yeah, I can leave Yuya Liang alone for now. I'll go after Zhou Tai and his subs. We're in for trouble if the wind picks up. We should stop Zhu De Liang's prayer just to be safe. Chasing after Yuga Liang. That's what we've been waiting to see. If I fail, I swear I'll never again step foot in Wu. Of course he says that when he's already won. Or when he's already guaranteed to do it. I must retreat. Or now. Because like I couldn't even end the stage prematurely to make that statement false. Because Sun Quan isn't on the map yet. Oh, there he is. I guess now I can make it false. But 
no, never mind. It's time. May the heavens bear witness. This fire burns with the spirit of Wu. Approach one guy for a cutscene. All right. Uh, I was hoping one guy would spawn like right next to Sai Mao, but Sai Mao was like could not be more safe. He's sandwiched between Zhang Liao and some other officer. Simon, I was wise to your tricks. Yeah, apparently. So, uh, that talk of there being cutscene was just bullshit, I guess. Unless I have to defeat him. And there goes the wind. Ah, the wind. Now the time has come. We shall lay our hopes on this wind and have it carry them to the enemy. Ah, the fire is spreading. My orders were to summon the wind. The rest is up to you. You go to yell and just bails. Begin the counterattack. He leaves because he knows Jinji is still after him. Wow, look at the morale bar. It's like a centimeter of blue. Everyone, all my guys, all of Wei has no morale. Like, Wu doesn't even have that much morale. Zhou Tai and Jing Pu are empty, but Pan Zhang and Sun Quan have a decent amount. Now you've made me angry. But that means Sun Quan troops are really going to tear through us. And so are Zhuge Jin's now that he just showed up. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. 
Enemy officer defeated! <laughs> Wow, a miracle. Jinji finally got taken down. That was a pretty flashy display. Care to finish this? Lusu got 50 KOs. Next time I will be victorious. Enemy officer defeated. I'll come back for you, Sing Quan. There's still a lot of lot of uh, enemies to defeat. I don't think there's any more sub officers on the right over here. Nah. It'll be Sai Mao and Sao Tao standing at the end. Well, if anyone's going to defeat Sai Mao right now- Yes! <laughs> Good job, Sun Quan! Ah, glad I left you alive. Excellent! I have accomplished exactly what I set out to do. I like how he didn't even say what he was defeated by, just defeated. In fact, he probably didn't die to Sun Quan's troop. He probably died to either Zhou Tai or, uh, or Ching Pu's troops. But since they weren't on the map anymore, it just said he was defeated. I'll be your opponent. Chat's going to rebel. <laughs> Riot? Oh god. <laughs> I didn't think there'd be such a reaction from the chat. You know he's died a bunch of times before now, right? I'm a tyrant now. <laughs> Allowing Sai Mao to die, to die somehow turned me into Don Zhuo, huh? You're right, he was my sub officer. That kinda makes it even better, huh? I wonder if my other sub officer is still alive. Oh no, dead as hell. Some battles you win, and some battles you lose. Enemy officer defeated! All right, now it's just Sun Quan on the map, so I'll double back and deal with him. <laughs> Avenge Sai Mao. How? It just said he was defeated. Didn't say who did it.
I wonder if Southside will have a different uh, outro now that the fire attack took place. The enemy is not without skill. Hang on! We must wait for our chance to retaliate! <laughs> They really do give the commanders in this game just a bit too much help. Like, I'm all for making them difficult, but health sponges are a different story. this calmly time to retreat enemy officer defeated <laughs> the outro will be like south south just like all right i'm back jesus Salpy, what did you do they were merely an alliance of two weaker powers thus they stood no chance before the might of our forces it must be devastating for them to have lost a naval battle, something they take so much pride in. However, Liu Bei and Sun Quan are not finished yet. They will surely conspire to try and attack us again. We must be prepared for anything. Okay, nah. Didn't change at all. Disappointing. A new but this body... Or Sun Quan. I'm sorry, my lord. If only I tried harder. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong, exactly. Well, I'm not going to get anywhere if I don't stay positive. I just have to focus on bringing victory to my lord. The next battle will be at Guanzhong to crush that annoying Ma Chao and Pang Day. All right, let's get down to business. Oh yeah, I haven't played this on Wayside, have I? Xiao Yuan, forget about the Bei for now. Be busy at Jing fighting with Wu and will not be able to move. In the meantime, we will go and attack Guanzhong. The regional lords of Guanzhong have all banded together and assembled at Tongye. I shall move north and cross the river in order to attack the enemy from behind. Xiao Yuan, I want you to position yourself in front of Tongye and lure the enemy's attention and troops towards you. Make the enemy tremble in fear of your might. Hopefully it won't take too long to recruit Han Sui. Draw the enemy out with a direct attack on Tong Gate. Zhu Zhu and I will cross the Yellow River and strike their rear. Good luck. 
luck if you think you can break through our defenses. from behind. You beasts of Guan Chan, do you think that you can stop me? Do not falter. We must cross quickly. Now, move it! Come, hit me with everything you got! Officer defeated! Here I am, Shu Hua has arrived! What? Cow Cow is moving north? They're trying to box us in. Don't let it happen! I'll try to leave the front lines as soon as I reach it. I like how Sao Tso increased his pace, so Ma Chao did the exact same thing. In taking the world would overrun Guan Zhao. If no compromise can be reached, then they have no choice left but to fight. I am Pang Dei. With my blade firmly in hand, I will stand for Guan Zhao. I challenge you in battle. I'm pretty sure that cutscene can play for anyone. Wang Gong was, or uh, Xiao Yu Wan was just there. I do kind of like how there's like, Sao Tso's doing his whole entire other thing on the other side of the map, meanwhile you're up here fighting on the front. Or if I was playing as like, Sao Tso or uh, maybe Xu Huang or someone, then I'd be helping him do what he's doing. Also, Pain Day has almost killed me, I'm in red health. Are any health around? I heard an item drop or something, it was just a fence. Oh, 
<laughs> so I like how Pain Day called himself a gentleman. Om nom. Crush them beneath us. Ow. Let's see how you fare against my strength. And now he's in hyper mode. Let's just back away. Oh, rage mode, damn it. Getting my power ups confused. He's already in hyper mode. I've decided to stir up trouble by visiting Hansweet. Move on. I need you to cover my back. Dion Pace steals the kill. It's nice the overall morale goes up just for defeating him. Allow me to offer a helping hand. So if I just enter Tong Gate and defeat everything in there, do I win? At the defeat Machao, Han Sui, and Peng Dei, all of them. It's weird that Han Sui is considered a commander. And there goes Juju. Get on the horse, please. <laughs> Dion pay the hero, say Xiao Yuan. Yeah, clearly. I shall teach you the basics of strategy. I like how Zhang Lu is white to show he's from a different force. Although white in this game would imply he's part of uh, Lu Bu's army. Some battles you win, and some battles you lose. The officer defeated! I will protect Tong Gate and all of Guangzhou. You get a cutscene too, huh? Now is the time to show them what we can do. Come on! Ma Chao runs and hides from no one. I actually don't want to defeat Ma Chao just yet. Mostly I just want to defeat the people around him. I won't be denied next time. Oh, you can take Tongate. Just by entering it, I guess. The plan has been an old boarded. <laughs> Ready to counter -attack. So if you take Tongate, he just gives up on that. Huh? Well, fine. I'll kill Ma Chao then. I wanted to see Han Sweet effect, but... I guess you have to really just sit on your ass to get that done. I'll never get into the likes of you. You're powering up too. Man, they made these guys hard for this stage. Ow. Please don't kill me.
Aero spam is actually pretty good for when they're in rage mode. And then it can actually stun them. Most attacks don't do that. Didn't steal that kill. Worthy opponent. I'm looking forward to the rematch. Enemy officer defeated. All right, now let's go kill another of South South's old friends. Where did Han Sui is considered a commander? Attack without mercy. So you must be looking for trouble. I guess whenever I play as a uh, Shu Huang or maybe Sao Tao if he has a stage, I can try avoiding Tong Gate and then getting Han Sui to defect. It's kind of an awkward battle, honestly. You should know who you're dealing with. I have thought you expected Han's fleet to be in hyper mode. defeated many of the regional lords of Guanzhang. Those remaining shall definitely cause us problems when we attempt to take the land. We must dispose of them now while we still can. Once we subdue Guanzhang, our forthcoming strategy should be easier to develop. Let us continue on the path to unifying the land beneath our rule. But this bodyguard is you shoe. He's another brilliant B. That's also what. Oh no, Dian Pei is brilliant A. Never mind. Get out of here. After taking care of those punks at Tong Gate, I realized that the land was divided into three between us, Liu Bei, and Sun Quan. Oh, you want only recently learned how to count to three. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because our lord will be the last one standing. I guess Liu Bei isn't aware of this yet because the fool's coming to attack me at Mount Ding Jun. Ah, these guys are so hopeless. Show who you want, I'll teach that Liu Bei a thing or two. I'll make sure that this battle will be his last. Our forces will hereby engage Liu Bei at Mount Ding Jun. Since Mount Tiandang is already in their hands, this battle will determine who will ultimately control Guan Zhang. Xiao Yuan, you are in charge of defending Han Zhang. Liu Bei is sure to attack you at the main camp. I want you to hold him off. I expect you to live up to your namesake and prove your valor on the battlefield. If we win this battle, 
The land will be ours in no time. Sure it will. Off screen. Oh yeah, this is the first time we played this on Wayside as well. Probably the hardest version of Mount Ding Jun. I don't think anyone else ends on this stage. Excuse me, General. What are you doing? <gasps> oh, just returning a greeting. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, pal. So, shall we get started then? Stay put. Hold out until our master comes! Move out! Push any who stand in your way! I like how they've already taken Tian Dang. So I couldn't even save it if I wanted to. Do not knock him outside of my Muso range, Dianpei. I appreciate you trying to help, I really do. In this instance, you are not. So this is to be there we go. Battle. It still worked out. Enemy officer defeated. I imagine if I advance too far ahead, I'll trigger Huang Zhong's charge early. I'll try and stay close to my allies for now. Now he's sending out the second wave of troops. Don't underestimate the enemy. We must hold out. Oh, Yuan must get really dizzy using his Muso. He just jumps and spins with his mace around. Another kill stolen by Dianpei.
Smart of them to send all their sub officers in first, at least. Already in red health. I seem to be getting my ass kicked more as Shao Yuan. So this is to be my final battle. Enemy officer defeated. I can't even see the enemy. Thanks for that camera. So this is to be my final battle. Enemy officer defeated. Be nice if one of these troops would drop health. Yay. In earlier games, elite guards like had to guarantee drop for health, but uh, in Dash Warriors 5, that doesn't seem to be the case. These are not all rushing us at once. Honestly, giving me plenty of time to deal with these guys. So who else did they send down here? No one. I guess they're just waiting to send in their next wave. I guess I'll take out Wei on then. Now Hong John's coming himself. I should probably go and deal with him then. Two speed boost. Ah, uh, there's health. Of course, I lose it immediately. Does Shai Yuan's defense just suck or something? And a full heal is basically just what I needed. Shang Ki getting up the kills and raising morale. Hey, old man, try taking me on. You're just an amateur like all the rest. Foolish child, did you think you were any match for the great Huang Zhong? He's kind of fool of himself, isn't he? What was with the eyebrows? You see that eyebrow twitch at the end?
Now you mine really doesn't have much options when there's just a lot of enemies around. You just kind of get overwhelmed. Juan's just like deaf to the elderly. Man, Juan John's morale really skyrocketed. That was at zero last I checked. Now it's at six. And now he invited his friends along. And he's too slow to outrun the enemies, too, so you can't even catch a breath. <sighs> yeah, let's make a save. Yeah, good thing I saved. That was my first death. Start surrounded by enemies. <sighs> really like to just get that health. It's Yanfei flying across the screen. He might die here. So this is to be my final battle. Enemy officer defeated. I'm fully prepared to fight to the death. Yep, there goes Yanfei. Oh well. When your experience rivals mine. Shut the fuck up, old man. You had help! <laughs> Muso up, are you kidding me right now? Fine, let's just take the damn supply base and hope I don't die in the process. Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. All right, now let's try this again. My troops defeated Glen Ping. Well, fine for me. <laughs> wow, what a letdown! Sorry, I'm late, Shahu Yuan. My fucking troops killed him. 
Good work, everyone. Now for the counter attack. Man, that's so anticlimactic. We will never give in to a scoundrel's rule. What a mess of a battle. Speed is of the essence. Follow me. This battlefield belongs to us. The enemy formation is crumbling. Forward. Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. So I guess you don't even really have to fight Huang Zhong if your troops are just like have high enough morale, they'll just kill him for you. Who cares? I already got down to like half health and that was just a random sub officer in the defense base. Attack without mercy. We have a chance to win this. Time to finish this. <laughs> Unfulfilled. Enemy officer defeated! You will not get away with that! I shall avenge the death of my men! Now to fight both these guys. Oh, you and Liu Bei really love to use their musos.
I really don't want to die right now. Is this the end of my journey? Enemy officer defeated. Time to finish. <laughs> Muso, really? One game. I have not need to look for as much health as I had for this stage of Shao Yuan. Or Muso. Oh my god. Finally, something. Where is Liu Bei going? Just charging straight past Yu Zhu. Well, whatever. Let's finally have some help for our side now. Of course, it would be Zhu Zhu helping me, wouldn't it? Alright, now can I not play as Shao Yuan again? Enemy officer defeated. We managed to come out on top in the Battle of Han Chong. Shao Yuan, you performed exceptionally well in this battle. I knew I could count on you to fight so brave. I mean, I ran away like five times, but yeah, sure, brave. The might of your bow weakened Shu and has also struck fear into Wu. Next, I ask that you set your sights on the whole land. I am certain that you can easily hit your target. I'm pretty sure I more than weakened Shu. Liu Bei's dead. As well as several of their strong generals. A new bodyguard, this bodyguard. Mauron, whatever. Brilliancy, who cares? So, Cheng He, you up for a little hunt? General, whether it's war or not, never put down your bow. I could never live with myself if I ever lost my touch. How disappointing that would be to all who died by my arrows. What a boring final cutscene. Alright, let's finally get over to Sing Chang Chang. Hope you're ready to hear the female narration music. I am Sun Shang Jing, daughter of Sun Jian. Growing up, I studied the martial arts right alongside my brothers. That surprises most people, but I'm very proud of my skill. These days, wars are breaking out all over the land. It's a tough time to live in, but it's also the perfect time for me to prove myself. I'm not just going to stay home anymore while my father and brothers go off to fight. They raised me like a warrior, and that's exactly what I'm going to be. Shang Zhang, you did an excellent job of guarding the home front. As you know, we scored a great victory at Sishui Gate and disposed of the tyrant Dong Zhuo in Luoyang. 
But now, the once unified coalition has split in all directions. Yuan Shu has entered into a struggle with Liu Biao of Jing and is requesting our assistance. Shang Zhang, though I have agreed with your wishes to attend this battle, promise me you'll play it safe. First, lead the army in from the east and attack the enemy where their defenses are weak. You need to be safe, Shang Zhang. Now watch what I do. Oh, huh. We don't get the cutscene. There's definitely a cutscene before this stage, but whatever. Uh, who do I have this time? I don't have that many interesting bodyguards, honestly. I guess we'll go with Fang Bei this time, because he's red. from the west. Say, you take the main gate. Shang Zhang, you take the east. A defense base. Get ready. It won't go down easily. Sun Jian, what business do you have bringing your family here? You should go back to hunting along the Xiang Dong. Silence! I will not listen to Liu Biao's lapdog. I claim this land of Jing in the name of the Sun family. There's no escaping me, Huang Zhu. All right, I gotta be quick if I want to hear. Damn it, get out of this. Gotta be quick if I want to hear Soon John's lines for the other two bases. Okay, show him what we got. A supply base, huh? Tear it down. Hey, show him. Soon John's still the commander. Destroy it before it causes more damage. All right. I wonder if Soon Jian doesn't have like a supply base quote. It's interesting that Soon Tse will do that before Soon Jian has died horribly. Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. You've walked right into my trap, you half-wit! I like how that scene was from Soon John's perspective, and like, over half of those arrows weren't going to be anywhere close to him. I shall show no mercy. I won't be denied next time. Who says a woman has to be weak? Liu Biao, you'll pay for what you've done. Oh yeah, let's go meet up with Soon Sei and be sad together. I think that cutscene plays for both of them. Soon Jian is fled. Prepare to attack. Yeah, here we go. Brother, father has. Ah. We mustn't lose focus. It'll be okay. Wait for me, father. I will kill Liu Biao for you. I 
I'm famous for my ability to strike swiftly. Not the time to brag, show you. You're by yourself. You must have some courage. worthy opponent. Dude, Chain Chain's horse attacks are so delayed, especially her charge attack. It's so hard to time that. And Tomb Titan's charge 6 is really good. Tomb Titan has been surrounded by ambush troops. In the exact same spot that Soon John was. Like father, like son. <laughs> Imagine he dies immediately and then Chang Chang just takes over. But judging you from that uh, odd notification, I feel like I'm supposed to go there. Maybe they'll trigger something. Shang Shang. It's just like when we were kids. This should be over shortly. I guess it didn't trigger anything. It's odd that, that even happens. Also <laughs> Do fathers die often when they were kids? Wiped out that punk Yu Biao and captured Jing. That ought to teach those across the land not to mess with us. I'm worried about father. With him in this condition, I have to do my best. We must be sure that we are fully prepared for the battle ahead. A 
new bodyguard <laughs> come to act this bodyguard. Uh, sorry, Masosa. <laughs> I guess I made them laugh and made them choke on a drink or something. <laughs> Just fucking captain. <laughs> God, why are you a mod? First, my beloved father was fatally wounded in a battle with Liu Biao. And just as I was about to finally put it behind me, my brother Sei also passed away from this world. <laughs> Sei dies off screen again. Luckily, my brother Quan was able to overcome his grief and become the next to lead our family. He joined forces with Liu Bei and defeated Cao Cao's fleet at Chibi. What a time skip! Now, it's time to head for the battlefield again. I wonder who this Liu Bei is that is fighting alongside us. I hope I get the chance to meet him. Our alliance sank the gigantic navy of cow cows to the depths of the Changjiang. Now we just need to chase down Cao Cao and realize total victory. With his army on the brink of elimination, Cao Cao is using what protection he has left to escape from Chi Bi. We must not let him get away from us. Princess, we must smash Cao Cao and his ambitions along with him. It is time to welcome the dawn of Wu that Soon Jian and Soon Se dreamed about. We must go and realize their dreams with our strength. I think this is the first game where they actually started to uh, push Cheng Cheng and Liu Bei being together. Like, I think it was hinted at in Dynasty Warriors 3. And I think four Extreme Legends actually had a stage about it. But this is the first time they essentially made that Shang Shane's character. This where my struggle finally ends? Guan Yu, was my fate decided from the very moment that you left me? Go. It is still not possible for me to forget my debt to you. But that debt ends here. The next time you oppose my lord, I will kill you. Remember that, Lord Cao Cao. Lord Kao Kao, I believe my debt to you is paid. Don't let Kao Kao get away! I'm pretty sure the cutscene is uh, approaching the obey. He's undressed for the occasion. I'll take out the bridge before the enemy shows up. Denied next time. Huh. Who says a woman has to be weak? Retreat is an acceptable strategy. Who says a woman has to be weak? I like how Soon Chang Chang keeps saying that when you defeat an officer, but like, I don't think anyone says that in this game at any point. So, you are Sun Chang Zhang. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am... Um, can we skip all the formalities? Glad to meet you, Lord Liu Bei. Here, take a look at my breast. Well, he really was looking right at them, wasn't he? Be... 
I won't be denied next time. Yeah, basically the only reason Chang Chang has this stage is for that one interaction. I shall teach you the horrors of war. This is all over. Who says a woman has to be weak? Attack swiftly before the enemy can regroup. That is a tough act to follow. You stand in my way, I shall show no mercy. I would rather live and redeem myself than die in shame. Who says a woman has to be weak? This way! You have my thanks. We really do get this stage way too often. Who says a woman has to be weak? Master! Where are you, Master? My sister. <laughs> he sounded so happy about that. Says a woman has to be weak. I finally made it. Alone? I hope you're ready. Judge this foe. Retreat is an acceptable strategy. Who says a woman has to be weak? You're alone? Perhaps you are too concerned with glory. That's my sister. How did they take over that checkpoint down in the bottom right? This should be easy enough. Considering like all the commanders are down there. Some battles you win, and some battles you lose. Who says a woman has to be weak? This looks 
looks like fun. Mind if I join the party? <laughs> no comment about mothers. Disappointing. Denied next time. Who says a woman has to be weak? Look, I shall teach you about battle. And imagine how long this would take if I didn't have the fire orb. Someday you shall pay for this. Who says a woman has to be weak? We have thoroughly crushed Cow Cow's army. It was quite humorous to see them scattering about like ants. This defeat should shut him up for a while. However, he will definitely come seeking revenge. Before that time comes, we must build up our military strength and be prepared to meet their advance. A new bo this body. Mei Ling, what does that sound familiar? Is that the Middle Gear girl? <laughs> or, now I'm thinking of Mei Rin. Isn't that her name? I don't know. Maybe I'll keep this one. Even though she is just a terrible veteran C. Who do I kill? Uh, Ganchun. After the battle at Chibi, my marriage was arranged to Liu Bei. He was a big help in saving us from the invasion by Cao Cao. I'm sure he and I would get along great together. However, just after I left to go to him, I was suddenly called back home. Then it occurred to me, I was being used in a plot against Liu Bei. I hope you can forgive me, Liu Bei. I really did have true feelings for you. I hope we can still meet again. I really do. Princess, forgive me, but marriages for a highborn lady such as you are made for political gain. So with the current turmoil, please understand our Lord's reasons for calling you back. We will hereby invade the territory of Heifei, where Wei has stationed their forces. If we can obtain these lands, it will prove most beneficial in our struggle against Wei. Currently the enemy is few and their defenses are thin. However, those that remain are veterans of many hard-fought battles. You must not underestimate the strength of their resolve. What an odd battle for Shang Shang to have. Don't look so down, Ling Tong. In this battle, we have the advantage. We are attacking Wei at Shu's request? Why must we help them? But, for our sake as well, we must capture Hei Fei and stop Wei's march south. Gan Ning, you are the key to this battle. Got it? Right. Leave it to me. <laughs> Are you sure your ship can carry the weight of your thick skull? Hey, you'd think Changjing would have had like an earlier battle or something. And from what chat says, uh, apparently Mei Ling was correct. That was a Metal Gear, Gear girl. Oh, 
Also, it's odd she's on the map and not just like a sub officer or something. And has no troops, so why even bother? Begin the advance. Their numbers are few. Wipe them all out. Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can fight. I only bet Ching Chang doesn't have a single unique line here. I'll be very impressed if she has a cutscene. Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. You should have brought your allies with you. Behold my might. I feel like Xu Huang showed up early. Maybe because I started to the south. I won't be denied next time. Who says a woman has to be weak? Our defenses were inadequate. <laughs> Don't give up. We'll be there soon. <laughs> Tyler saying, look at that mighty axe in regards to Xu Fong. No mercy. I do love the at puns with him. Like, it's all basically the same joke, and it's like as low brow as you can get, but I still find it funny. You have sub officers, don't you, Peng Day? Yeah, you have two. Be right back. Oh, also, it's really hard to notice. Peng Day actually has a unique horse. It's a brown horse with uh, blonde hair. And you can see the regular brown horse right here. Where it has black hair. It's hard to take a good look at it when he's currently trying to kill me, but I'll come back to him. 
Should actually probably go and stop Zhang Liao. Don't you think you're being a little arrogant, Zhang Liao? The enemy is formidable. You're no match for the strength and skill of Zhang Liao. Stand in my way. I shall show no mercy. Nobody can stop our might. Speed is of the essence. I see Pain Day has learned well from Cao Cao. I do like how fast Shang Shang can recover from her animations and attack. Like, I can have my attacks blocked by Zhang Liao and still, like, counterattack him before he can actually hit me back. That's it, we're kind of getting up on him right now, aren't we? Of course, when you move those, it's a different story. We can do better than that. I would rather live and redeem myself than die in shame. Better head back. I have to protect my master and all. We made it! I won't be denied next time. Who says a woman has to be weak? The ties of battle have shifted in our favor. Did you think you could overcome this face? You could jump this river. Father, brother, lend strength to my ambition. I saw one a variation of this cutscene where he just totally misses the landing, falls into the river, forced drowns. Field, there is no ambition. Only battle. So, so, <laughs> meanwhile, just like the fuck, Pain Day. Why did I recruit you? Denied next time. Who says a woman has to be weak? Jang 
they actually managed to take over a defense base on their own. Good job, random troops. Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. Crush them where they stand. Any who stand in Lord Cow Cow's way will die. There you are. You won't get any further than this. Now, have you learned to fear the name of Zhang Liao? Uh, he said that because I ran away from him, but I actually just wanted to go after Shao Dun. Because I knew he would ignore me. Still no god dang. Yeah, he kind of takes his time in this map. I won't be denied next time. Who says a woman has to be weak? There is still some glory left for the taking. Challenge you. Now, attack. Don't let the enemy get away. You never seem to win the weapon dead lots on the harder stages in hard mode. Ah, there goes Mei Ling. No doubt wiped out, wiped out by Zhang Liao just kind of going ape shit. Probably not gonna wait around for Zhang Liao to respawn over and over again. They're trying to take the base. Stop them! This is basically just like stopping her Muso mode to play a stage in free mode. Sub officers left. Nope, just you. Now, attack. You dare try that right in front of me? Don't let the enemy get away! 
I was trying very hard to make you waste this times two attack up. Someday you shall pay for this. Who says a woman has to be weak? We have gained the right to rule this land. Although we were unable to kill Cow Cow, the Wei army will not soon forget the lesson we taught them in this battle. Should we use this momentum to crush Cow Cow? Or perhaps we should break our alliance and attack Liu Bei? Or perhaps... Our next move will surely determine the fate of the land. Change, change, just like, uh, brother, what was that last one again? But this bodyguard. We won the battle at Heifei. It was then decided that we should subdue the barbarian King Meng Huo in the south. Another battle, but I feel a little relieved. At least tensions have subsided with Shu, so we won't be fighting against Liu Bei for a while. Meng Ho's barbarians are said to share a strong sense of unity, but no one's as unified as we are here in Wu. There'll be no match for the Soon family's strength. Due to the heavy damage we inflicted on Wei at the Battle of Heifei, the land has come to know a moment's peace. We must use this to our advantage and wipe out our enemies in the south. The enemy is centered around their king, Meng Huo, and they all appear to be like one big family. This unity cannot be underestimated. This battle could very well prove to be difficult. But it is as you say. The bonds between the Sun family of Wu cannot be matched in strength. Okay. Let us head for the southern continent. It was Lu Xun listening to the narration? She did. I thought that was that was like a monologue. How did he hear that? Okay. Or did he read her diary or something? <laughs> I think, yeah, Shang Shang is at least in this battle, so it makes more sense than Hei Fei, but it's also still just an odd one. Like, they show the relationship between her and Liu Bei for one stage, and then don't do anything else with it. Forward! Run them down and take control! Well, that was annoying. They will not get past us so easily. Everyone's saying they like this outfit. Gee, I wonder why. Is it because she's wearing short shorts? It's probably because she's wearing short shorts. I mean, I'm gonna keep wearing it, but I mean, I'm just saying. Wow, that didn't take long, did it, Mei Ling? Some battles you win, and some battles you lose. Who says a woman has to be weak? <laughs> I 
I like her personality in this outfit. That was a good one, Muscle Kid. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong, Sam's just riding a mammoth into me. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. Elephant, sorry. Who says a woman has to be weak? Where did your wrong go? I think she lost interest. There she is. See what our line is for taking over a neutral base. We have taken the enemy base. It's a neutral base, but okay. Yeah, the neutral base quotes really seem to assume they're always taking an enemy, an enemy base. I do like the game to non mind something else unique in this. Like they have uh, the beast tamers that attack with tigers of all things. Can I get a second to breathe here? Freaking archers everywhere. Yeah, screw that place.
<laughs> the bridge has been saved. Time to turn this battle around. You guys have any lines together? Nope. All right. I could have sworn I saw someone say there was a cutscene after uh after the ambush, but I guess not. You need the bridge to fail. Okay, great. You never tell what triggers what in this game. Sometimes it's uh, preventing something from happening, and sometimes it's allowing it to happen. Fortunately, I think uh, Tiny Caterpillar's videos are still on YouTube. That guy essentially recorded every single cutscene in like the older Dynasty Warriors games. I think he stopped doing that when Samurai Warriors 3 came out, but I think everything before that is as a uh, videos. I don't want an elephant. The tides of battle have shifted in our favor. So, they moved just as I expected them to. Is it all right if we stir up a little trouble here? The king never loses a fight. Slay their general. I'm always looking for a good fight. Here I go. Did you think you could overcome this base? It'll take more than just you to stop me. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. Who says a woman has to be weak? Yeah, if there are any cutscenes I've missed, you can almost definitely find them on his channel. I'm thinking I may have to play either uh, Huang Zhong, Yu Ying, or Zhuge Liang in order to get the Shu Nanmon stage. Because I thought Wei Yan would have it, but he ended up just skipping it. And Ma Chao didn't have it either. I don't think anyone else besides those people appear in that stage. So I'll probably have to play as one of those three, which is a shame because I kind of wanted to skip all three of them. Oh, fuck this. These goddamn elephants! God, that was annoying. I, I bit off more than I could chew. Who says a woman has to be weak? 
Pang Tong has it? Oh, who even cares? We have defeated the Nanmon King Meng Huo and secured the lands of Nanmon. The resources here shall increase the strength of Wu tremendously. We no longer need fear of being attacked from behind. Finally, we can realize the dream of a land united under Wu. Shall our opponent be Cao Cao or Liu Bei? It doesn't matter. Nobody can stop the crest of power which we now ride. <laughs> I'm going to try my hardest to avoid playing uh, Peng Tong and Zhuge Liang because I really don't like their move sets. We have settled the southern lands, so we will soon renew our conflicts with Xu and Wei. Once again, I will be forced to fight against my dear Liu Bei. Liu Bei has declared war on us over the death of his brother Guan Yu. I understand the anger and pain he must feel, for I too have lost members of my family. We have no choice but to fight. I wish I didn't have to face Liu Bei, but no matter how I feel about him, my family will always come first. And that one time he ogled her breasts really just won her, won her over, didn't he? Shu has declared this a battle to avenge the death of Guan Yu and has dispatched their army to Yi Lin. However, Shu is without honor, so they have no chance of victory. The flames of our passion shall put an end to them. I am having Zhu Ran prepare the fire attack. We shall wait for an opportunity to set up a bridge layer to set fire to the enemy camp. Until then, we must wait and concentrate on our defenses. Princess, I understand your feelings, but Liu Bei has given in to his hatred and lost his way. For the good of Wu, you must fight against Liu. I mean Shu. I don't think too many Wu stories in the Yi Ling. Oh yeah, we didn't see the cutscene for this stage either. Zhu Ron will need time to prepare the fire attack. We must do everything we can to hold the enemy at bay. Zoom Chang Chang is like skipping all of the CG cutscenes. Except for the Heifei one, the one she really had no right even being in the battle for. I should really consider unlocking the wind scroll after this. Quan must pay for the death of Guan Yu. Almost let this guy run, run me by. And to no one's surprise, Mei Ling is dead. Maybe you should have brought a more capable bodyguard just because it'd be the last stage. 
But oh well. Zhang, restrain yourself. Nah. Really wants to kill her husband, so nothing can stop her. Sharp, everyone! Forward, march! Gunning always dies in this battle, doesn't he? But it's mostly because the blue side keeps starting me over here on the right. It's kind of nice I don't have to do anything to make sure the fire attack succeeds, but it's also kind of disappointing. It means you can't really fail it naturally.
attack is ready. Fire! Now it begins. These fires shall light the road to victory in this battle. It worked. All we need now is to charge the enemy. So this is to be my final battle. Who says a woman has to be weak? Hurry, we'll get out of this maze and retreat. See if we can find some healing items in here. That'll work. May as well break some others, though. I hate when they activate two times the fence. Well, it wasn't so bad this time, but sometimes it can be really annoying. Especially if you're fighting an officer inside here. is on his way. Hold on till he arrives. through our forces. Yeah, I finally remembered how to get through this uh, maze again now. Your track. Prepare yourself, Liu Bei. Let's 
I truly believed that we could have started a new life together. But Shang Zhang. Stay back! I am a daughter of the Soon family. And I am loyal to my father, my brother, and to Wu. You're by yourself, Shang Zhang. What a waste. I'm surprised they have uh, enemy lines for each other, too. Considering this is the one stage you'll hear them in. And uh, I'll give Shane Chain's voice actress credit. Uh, she sounded pretty sincere there. These fucking deadlocks. Sometimes it's just better to clear out the peon so you can fight without having your combos interrupted every five seconds. I still care for you. An army raised on anger is doomed to fail. If you live by your emotions, then you shall die by your emotions. It truly is a fitting end for you, Bay. Thanks to this battle, we managed to increase our power while rendering shoe harmless. All that remains is Wei, who is of no real threat to us. The day of a land ruled by Wu is close at hand. Ding Kwan just dismissing Wei entirely. So damn cocky in this game. And I like how uh Yugo Liang never showed up. A new body this bodyguard. Lord Liu Bei, I shall, I shall live a life worthy of your memory.
So the second Soon Chang Chang has a kid, she's just gonna dunk him on the floor. <laughs> Yubei looked at her boots one last time. <laughs> Now to marry Shao Yuan. There might be a corpse by this point. Well, since a lot of people were requesting I play uh, Lu Ming during the last stream, uh, I'm gonna play Cao Cao in the next stream. Say Guan Ping and Xu Huang. Someone keeps saying Lu Bu, but I've already played Lu Bu. Literally no one asked for salsa. <laughs> I do actually want to play Hidden Hats just because uh, I want to spread out the rulers. Because like rulers essentially have to have like a dedicated stream for themselves. So I think I'll play Salsa Nets and then I'll go on to uh, do some of the people you guys are requesting. Which I'm seeing Lu Ming and Zheng Zhao a lot. So I guess I'll play Lu Ming and then Zheng Zhao. In the next net stream. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have the two the next two planned out for. But anyways, that's it for this stream, so thanks for watching. See you guys next time.